right so guys so now let's continue let's continue but before we continue let's come to the the layer sign at the top here let's come to this layer sign and tap on it have you seen that there is a padlock sign attached to all the the, the various boxes here so tap on each of the padlock signs so that you can lock your test and your shapes so that when you are designing or you are adding other shapes and test the the the, the the previous ones will not move to disturb your design all right so let me tap on all of them let me tap on all of them tap on the layer sign again and get back so let's quickly move to the plus sign here again and add a shape let's add a shape let's add a shape here let's add a cycle a cycle now we have the circle here so let's check it let's check the circle and let's quickly come to the a sign and search for color sorry let's come to the the center sign and search for color let's search for color so tap on the color to activate it now we are going to use the same color that we used for the the first shape and the test the so this is the the shape that we have now have you seen that the shape here is just the normal shape we want to make we want to add another shape so that the inside will be white so now let's position this one here nicely let's okay so we have this one here let's copy it let's let's check it and come to copy here so you copy you copy we have it here then you copy again we are going to use three shapes we're going to use three circles there so copy again so you position them well you position them well you position the, the now we have our three shapes here well arranged Shit. so um, before we can have a nice design we need the inside of these three shapes to be white we, we want the inside to be white so what we are going to do now is we are going to take one of the shapes here the center one and change the color let's make it white let's make it white and see how it will look like all right so let's try to place it in each of the two shapes and see how they will so we have it there nicely please go to position and check and make sure that it's always at the center the the outline here the outer line should be equal no part of the the circle should be bigger than the other they should all have the same size all right so now let's copy let's check it and copy let's copy it and come to this one too let's place it inside there let's extend the circle to fit well into the to fit well into this one let's extend it well so let's go to relative shape size relative size relative size and increase it a little bit so let's go to position let's go to position position and place it on it well let's come to this one make sure that all the sizes are equal all right let's come to this one again and work on it small let's work on it small let's go to relative size relative size increase it a bit then we go back to position make sure that it is well placed on the circle good so we have our two circles here now we need to add another shape again let's add another shape let's add so we have our third shape here but that one it will not be it will not be as these ones are so let's reduce the size of this one a little bit let's reduce the size a little bit let's reduce the size and position it well on this one let it be at the center of the two circles now let's come to the copy sign and copy 
now we are going to change the color of the one that we've copied so let's come to color and select white because we want it to be like the first one here so let's move it to the circle let's mark it here and come to relative size let's reduce the size small and let's go to position let's shoot let's go to position let's go to position and place it well on the first one nice but let's do something small about it let's do something small about it good now we have our three shapes here neatly placed All right, now let's continue and add another shape again. Let's add another shape. So we are going to use the same color for the shape. So let's take it and bring it down here. Hold this side. Hold this side to extend the shape. Hold it to extend it. Now, let's bring it down. Let's bring it down. Good. So come to the layer sign at the top here. You come to the layer sign at the top here to lock it. Yes. So always make sure you lock it. Now we are going to add some text to the, the shape that we have just added. We are going to add some text here. So let's go to the plus sign and select text. Let's come to the A sign at the down here, the A sign here, and then tap on edit. Alright, so we have our test here. So let's click on the OK sign. Let's click on the OK sign here. Now, have you seen that the test is here? It's, it's bigger than the space here. So let's come to the let's come to the test size and reduce the test size. Let's reduce the test size. Good. Let's extend the boss. Let's extend the boss. Now, we have our test here. We have our test here. So, let's increase it a little bit. Now, let's come to uh, line spacing. Let's come to spacing. Yeah. So, let's bring it down. Let's bring them down nicely. Let's bring them down nicely. Now, let's quickly come to spacing here. Let's come to spacing. Let's come to spacing. Good. Let's check it and quickly come to edit sign. Let's come to the edit sign. Let's add something before we continue. So on Facebook, on Facebook dot, okay, on Facebook SM Shopping. So it means when you go to Facebook, do you see the SM Shopping? You see the SM Shopping too on Facebook. SM Shopping. SM Shopping. Good. Let's check it and quickly get back. Let's position it well. Let's position it well. Let's position it well. Good. So let's see if we can add something to it again. Bold. Now let's reduce the test size a little bit. Let's reduce the test size a little bit. Let's make it okay. So let's bring the 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 the, the shape down. Let's bring this shape down. So let's come to the center sign. Let's come to position. Good. So our shape is down there all right so we have our test here placed well placed in the in the box so now we want to add pictures we want to add pictures into these circles so let's go to the plus sign here let's go to the plus sign and select from gallery from gallery let's patiently wait for it. 
so we are in the gallery now so let's select the pictures let's select this picture select then we need to crop it yes something small now we have the picture here how do we place it inside <laughs> so let's let's reduce the size of the picture let's reduce the size of the picture and hold this side to rotate the picture let's hold this side to rotate the picture let's rotate the picture so let's place it in this one so let's rotate it like this rotate it like this and place it in the circle so i think we don't have to reduce the size again good so let's go back to the gallery again let's go back to the gallery again and add another picture let's go again and add another picture so we are in the gallery so let's select this picture let's select this particular picture let's select that picture tap on select here tap on select here then it will take us to us to the, the shape so tap on the the mark sign here this one we don't need to crop it so tap on the mark sign there then we are here so hold this side to reduce the size of the image reduce the size and reduce the size again let's reduce it let's reduce it now let's rotate it let's rotate it let's rotate it small now we have it here we have our picture here good so let's add another picture again from the gallery so wow we have our picture here well placed in the circle now guys have you seen how beautiful this design is all right so let's quickly go to the layer sign here let's come to the layer sign and mark all of them let's mark all of them tap on the layer sign again and go back let's go back and see what we can do about this design again all right guys so if someone asks you to design a flyer like this you just have to take your time get all your images from the websites that i gave to you earlier you get all high quality images from those four websites it's not only the four websites there are numerous websites but for now i'll give you only the four so that you'll be exploring the four then before we end this particular training i'll give you the rest guys I'm still Foster Odikro, the founder of Joe Force Global IT Services. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye bye.